Hello. Uh, there's a number of things uh, popping up as, um, as, as, as we draw to the end of the week. Uh, Mrs Merkel has been to see President Putin and the subject of Navalny has come up. Uh, President Putin has avoided mentioning his name, calling him the subject, um, and insisting that uh, Navalny was not imprisoned for political reasons. He was imprisoned because he was involved in some sort of dodgy dealing with foreigners. It's the foreign um, thing which has closed, or which is going to close um, the television channel Rain, and um, uh, you know all of this in preparation. We suspect for the forthcoming um, Duma elections this coming month, um, maybe. At the same time, something else extraordinary has happened, and I'd be really interested if somebody's got some details about this. Um, we understand that there's about one and a half thousand Afghan students registered in Russian universities, but apparently only about 350 places. So I don't quite get this. Uh, at the moment, visas are not being issued to Afghan students to go and study in Russia, despite the fact they've got places, and despite the fact that some of them have been uh, doing the um, courses online. Uh, now, there are reports that online courses are going to be almost impossible because the electricity supply in the capital, particularly in Kabul, um, is very erratic. Now, I was um, on a uh, news show last night, and what was interesting was that um, uh, I, I, I was um, I, I was there with a um, with a reporter from Kabul. What was interesting was that, was that my um, news feed, my um, my my uh, internet feed was very erratic. That's provided by Virgin Media. Whereas um, the Kabul feed was really quite consistent and quite good. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, the Kabul um, internet is going to descend to the quality of Virgin Media, or perhaps slightly worse. Um, that is deeply regrettable. Um, but at the same time, I would be really interested to know exactly how many Afghan students are going to be given the option of continuing their studies in Russia, particularly as Russia maintains an embassy and good relations with the Taliban. Um, and, uh, and, and finally, there's the issue of the sanctions against the seven um, Russians uh, who Britain and America are, is, are holding responsible for the Navalny poisoning. Um, I'm not sure again that this is going to um, be that useful. I'm, I, I'm not a great fan of sanctions, even targeted sanctions. Uh, I think people have a habit of being able to wait, and particularly people who are well connected and rich, they can wait a little longer. Um, what we actually need to do is to make it fundamentally clear uh, two things we need to make fundamentally clear. Number one, we need to stop um, using shorthand when we speak of Navalny. Navalny is not uh, the natural opposition to Mr Putin. There is no opposition to Mr Putin. Uh, that has pretty well been silenced. Um, but, um, uh, but, but there, there simply isn't. There isn't an alternative. Um, what Mr Navalny has done is to um, become the focus of opposition thoughts. That's a slightly different thing. And he's also set up a grassroots campaign to isolate, identify, and call out corruption wherever it occurs. Now, what I think is so disturbing and what I think the West should be asking is, of all these uh, corruption claims, how many of these are now being investigated? And by whom? Or are they just being hidden and squashed? Because we, we, we heard a great deal about um, Putin's palace, but there are many other corruption issues which have been flagged up 
by the campaign that Mr Navalny and Mr Navalny's organisation promoted. That is the opposition and that is something that we, we need to ask. What's going on? Is there, is there not a legal system? Is there not a um, judicial system that is functioning in Russia? And if there isn't, why not? Um, even if I thought that something, even if I thought that somebody uh, was uh, someone I didn't like, if they flagged up uh, an issue which was which, which showed corruption, I would feel obliged to investigate. If I were a president, or if I were the senior judge in a country, so why is this investigation not taking place? That's where we can put pressure.